Hello everybody and welcome to another game of Squirrels Baseball. I am Aaron and we have Portland again today. I had quite the pitcher's duel yesterday. One to nothing in ten innings. So hopefully we'll get a little more fireworks. I'm not asking for a 14 to 12 game or anything, but you know, at least tease us a little. This is also game number 63, so the first of 100 left to go. Look at the usual starting nine. Gill on the mound today. 90 strikeouts on the year. We'll see if he can get to 100 today. All right. Tony Pena leading off for the Orcas. First pitch is down and out. And that sinker in the dirt. 2-0. There's a curveball for a strike. Called strike on a fastball. Pena yet to swing. Two and two the count. And he will not swing in this at bat. Strikes out looking. Jeff Salazar at the plate now. First pitch is called a strike. Swing and a miss makes it 0 and 2. Pops this one foul, but it will make the screen. Called strike three. This is looking a lot like yesterday, two batters in. Oka at the plate. He did get a hit yesterday. One of the few to do so. Gets a more authoritative hit here. That's going to be a double into the right center gap. There are two outs, though. Eric Burns struck out in all four at-bats yesterday. Has a chance to get Portland on the board early here. His first pitch goes outside. This one too low. Grounds this one to first. This will not score the run. Terry picks it up and steps on the bag. But Portland with an early hit instead of waiting until, like, the seventh or eighth inning to get a hit. Portland looks to have... The same lineup they did yesterday. Chuck James, who I don't remember in reality, starting. Kester takes the first pitch and puts it into the right center gap, though not as hard as Oka. He's going to have to settle for a single. Marvin batting right-handed, though that didn't seem to bother him yesterday. Watches a pitch up and in. This one too far inside as well. 2-0 the count. This one catches the inside, 2-1. Two and one. Swing and a miss, 2-2. Two and two. Kester takes off, and it's a base hit into center. Kester on his way to third, and will make it there easily after getting the head start. Runners on the corners, nobody out. Chief at the plate, looks at strike one. This one too far inside. Chief just needs to make some contact, really, to score that run. Doesn't do so there. One and two. Hits this one down the third baseline. Kester will score easily. Marvin on his way to third. Chief on his way to second. RBI double. Squirrels already on the board. Much different than yesterday, for sure. All right, Terry at the plate. Two runners in scoring position. Portland has still not recorded an out. Swing and a miss. Makes it one and one. And this outside. Two and one. Swing and a miss. Looked like a hittable pitch, but Terry was behind it. Fouls this one off. Two and two still. Hits this one. Will it stay fair? It does. 
A three-run homer, his ninth of the season, a 354-foot shot right down the right field line. Makes it four to nothing, Squirrels. The Orca is already in a lot of trouble. That was one, it was... I was sure it would have the distance, but I just was not sure if it would stay fair, if it was going to run out of room, but... Base is now empty, still no outs. Frank, at the plate, looks at a ball. Here's a called strike. James clearly rattled out there. Looks like they're finally going to get an out here with the pop fly to short. Pena makes the grab. Tom at the plate now. First pitch is called a strike. And this pitch goes inside. Base hit into left field. Squirrels potentially starting a new streak here. One on, one out. Zach at the plate. Squirrels threatening to bat around in the first inning. He looks at a strike. Hits this one through the left side of the infield for a base hit. Runners on first and second for Joey. Still only one out. I kind of wonder how much longer James is going to get to do this. Has a one and one count on Joey. This is going to be fouled away, one and two. Called strike three. Two outs, but Gill at the plate, so the squirrels do get through the order their first time through. I don't know if it officially counts as batting around until Kester comes to the plate, though. 0-2 oh, the count. Ground ball to... Sh actually, yeah, Pena does field it, and it's not in time. Infield hit for Gill. So, one way or the other, Squirrels did bat around in the first. Base is loaded. There are two outs now. Kester fouls the first pitch away. Swings and misses to make it 0-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Portland finally out of the inning. The uh, Squirrels start off with four runs on seven hits. Leave three stranded. Travis Buck will come to the plate to open up the second inning. Gill had a while to sit, though I guess he got to run the bases a little bit to stay warm. Starts Buck off with a strike. This uh, will go foul. Oh, and two, the count. That slider is too low. And sinker is called a strike. One away, onion at the plate. First pitch called a strike. And that pitch goes too high. One and one the count. Swing and a miss makes it one and two. Ground ball through the right side of the infield. Here's a base hit. Orcas with the runner aboard with only one out. Aranda, okay, today it says its name. And yesterday, I don't believe the game ever said his name. In any case, Ronda is down 0-2. And, and that will be fouled away. Still alive. Gets him to swing and miss at a sinker. Two away. Thomas Perez at the plate. First pitch is called a strike. Second pitch down and in. Fouled away. One and two. Ground ball to third. Chief throws over to first. And that will end the top of the second. Still 4 nothing squirrels. Marvin will come to the plate to lead off the second. James still on the mound for now. We'll see if he maybe settles in a little bit after that horrendous first inning. 
has a one and one count on Marvin. This one too low. Swing and a miss. Two and two. Called strike three. Chief at the plate now. One down. First pitch is called a strike. Grounds this one to first. Oka picks it up and steps on the base. Terry homered in his last at bat. Puts him only one homer behind Frank for the team lead now. So I'm sure he'd probably like to get another, actually. Won't do it here, though, as he fouls one off towards third, and Onion is able to make the grab. Much better inning for James, who is going to lead off the third inning at the plate. Squirrels still lead 4 nothing. First pitch is too far inside. This one too high, maybe inside as well. 2-0 the count. Goes with the curveball, gets a swing and a miss. Fouls this one away. 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Tona, Tony Pena at the plate now, not Tona. First pitch is called a strike. Swing and a miss. 0-2. Called strike three on a fastball. Jeff Salazar at the plate. Two away, nobody on base. First pitch is called a strike. That curveball didn't make it to the plate. Sinker looks much better, and Salazar whiffs on it. One and two. Called strike three. Four nothing squirrels to go to the bottom of the third. Frank will lead things off. First pitch is called a strike. And that one catches the outside, 0 and 2. Called strike 3. All those pitches down in the zone. Frank apparently didn't like any of them. That'll bring Tom to the plate. First pitch is called a strike. This is going to be a base hit up the middle. Makes Tom two for two today. Zach at the plate now. One on, one out. James from the stretch throws a strike. Fouls this pitch away. 0 oh and 2. Ground ball to third. Onion goes to second with it. Not in time to first. Mark that one down a fielder's choice for Zach. That'll bring Joey to the plate. One on, two out. First pitch is too high. This one looked similar, but he gets the call on that one. One and one. Joey, another ground ball to third. Goes to first with this one, and that will end the inning. We're through the first third. Jo or, uh, Joey. Joey didn't do it by himself. Uh, the Squirrels up 4 nothing. Oka will be leading off for the Orcas. He got a double in his first at bat. Swings and misses at a curveball here. Swings and misses again at a curve. I'm not sure I'd throw him anything different, and doesn't look like Gil plans on it. Doesn't get Oka to chase that one, though. Goes with the fastball and gets a ground ball to second. One down. Burns at least put the ball in play last time. Looks at strike one. Pops this one up behind second base. Kester ranges way back, and he's the one to make the grab. I think Marvin might have had a play on him, but Kester's the one that ends up catching it. Brings Travis Buck to the plate. So he watches that sinker go inside. 
There's a called strike, one and one. This pitch down and out. 2 1. Called strike on the outside corner. Soft pop up liner, kind of right on the border there to Joey. That'll end the inning. 4 0 squirrels. Gill will come to the plate. Gill looks at that one in the dirt. This one right down the middle, I think. One and one. Two and one. Two and two after that swing and a miss. Fouled away. Looks at strike three. First pitch is called a strike. Ground ball to third, right on the line, but Onion's able to make the play. Makes the long throw on a speedy Kester. That was, even though it was the hardest hit ball, still a pretty nice play over there at third. Two away, Marvin at the plate. First pitch is called a strike. Swing and a miss makes it 0-2. Fouled away. And this one inside. One and two. This one is not going to stay fair. Still one and two. Two outs. Nobody on base. This one runs inside. Marvin lays off again. Swings at this one, though, but comes up empty. And that will end the fourth inning. Squirrel still 4 to nothing lead. Onion is going to lead off things for the Orcas in the top of the fifth. First pitch to Onion is swung on and missed. This uh, should get down, yeah, and out of Joey's range. Just enough behind second base where Joey couldn't catch up to it. Aranda at the plate, looks at a strike. And this pitch is too low, one and one. Fouled away, one and two. Goes with the curve ball and gets a swing and a miss. One down, Thomas Perez at the plate. Runner still on first. This into left field. Frank has a play on it. Runner is pretty far off the base, but is going to get back. I think that was James, a pitcher back at the plate, has, after having a terrible first inning, seems to have settled in now. Grounds this one to first. Terry takes the out at first, and that will end the top of the fifth. Halfway through, Squirrels leading 4 0. Chief will lead things off the plate. Chief, one for two on the day with the double. Looks at a strike. Hits this one into left field. It'll get down for a base hit. Leadoff runner aboard, Terry, has homered and fouled out today. Swings early at that fastball. 0-1. Oh, Couple pickoff throws to first. Doesn't look like Chief's going anywhere. Goes to the plate here and gets Terry to swing and miss again. 0-2. Oh, Grounds this one back to James. His only play is to first, so it does move Chief into scoring position. Only one out. Frank at the plate. Oh, I forgot. Frank has 11 home runs. I was, I was thinking he had 10, but he had three over this past uh, past series. Grounds out to shortstop in this at-bat. Chief unable to advance. 
Two down, runner on second. Tom at the plate, looks at strike one. Hits this one towards second. Perez throws over to first. And that will end the fifth inning. No runs scored since that first inning. We go into the sixth. Tony Pena will lead things off. Gill starts off with a curveball that's hit to first. Terry hits it on, gets it on a short hop and steps on the base. Salazar has looked or struck out. Sorry, I'm tripping over my words all of a sudden. He has struck out looking in both at-bats so far today. Quickly gets behind 0-2 in this at-bat. And at least he strikes out swinging this time. Oka, 1 for 2 with a double. Hit a nice line drive into the right center gap in his first at-bat. But Portland unable to follow it up. Has a 1-1 and one count here. And this is going to be a ground ball to third. Chief takes a few steps before throwing it and just gets the play. I kind of thought he might have run in too far for... And it was awfully close. But we do go to the bottom of the sixth inning. Zach will lead things off for the Squirrels. And looks like we're going to get a pinch hitter in the... Oh, and the Orcas go to their bullpen. Jose Vizcaino on the mound. Or Luis. Luis Vizcaino. Sorry. I don't know if I just made that name up or if I was thinking of somebody else. Zach looks at a strike. And that one also called a strike. Zach takes a look at the umpire. And apparently it works. That looked like a similar pitch but called a ball. Hits this one to Pena short. One away. Joey at the plate. He is 0 for 2 today. Though he has a 7 game hitting streak apparently. Looks at strike 1. Hits this one to 2nd. We'll bring the pitcher spot up. Gill's already given us 6 good innings. So let's go ahead and bring Phil into the game. Nobody on base, two outs. And that's going to be a base hit in the left field. Phil might even turn this into a double. Burns did not play that well at all. Two out double. Kester at the plate, runner in scoring position. Two outs, first pitch called a strike. This is going to be right to short. Pena knocks it down and just gets it over to first. Did not field it cleanly, but did enough. Just to get Kester at first and keep the squirrels scoreless. Since the first, anyway. They still do have a 4 to nothing lead going into the seventh. Eric Burns is going to lead things off. For Portland as we go get Gonzalez and put him into Kester's spot. All right, Gonzalez starts off with a cutter in the dirt to Burns. This one out of the zone as well. 2-0 the count. Gets a changeup over for a strike. Goes with the fastball. Burns is behind it. 2-2. Two and two. Swings and misses at a changeup. One away. Travis Buck, 0 for 2. That first pitch goes too high. And swings and misses. 1-1. One and one. Swing and a miss again. One and two. Grounds this one through the right side of the infield for a base hit. Feels like it's been a while since Portland got a hit, though maybe it's not as long as I'm thinking. Onion at the plate. Swings and misses at the first pitch. Hits this one soft liner to third. Chief makes the grab. 
Two down, Aranda at the plate. He has struck out swinging in both at-bats. Looks at a strike here. This one too high. Called strike. One and two. Swing and a miss. Strike three. That gets us to the seventh inning stretch. Squirrels leading 4 nothing. Marvin at the plate on the other side. Alright, Vizcano still on the mound. Marvin at the plate, now batting left-handed. Watches that one go inside. Hits this one to second for the first out of the inning. At least the bottom half. Chief, two for three today with a double and a single. Looks at that pitch outside. This one goes outside again. Does not seem particularly Pump to pitch to Chief, and probably shows why, with a line drive into right for another base hit. Terry at the plate. One for three, but his one was a three-run homer, so doesn't really need to do anything else in this game. One and one count. Pops this one up. Vizcaino's going to field it himself near the first base line. Two away. Frank 0 for three today. Looks at strike one. Looks at strike two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Frank just not looking great at the plate today. But not a safe situation, so we will stick with Gonzalez. Portland had managed to score a run, then we would have been putting... Uh, Hermita into Frank's spot. So he could possibly get another chance. I missed who was at bat. I think Perez. He comes up with a base hit up the middle. Yes, it was Thomas Perez. Vizcaino is going to get the hit for himself here. Runner on first. Nobody out. Swings and misses. One and one. Swings and misses again. This is fouled away. Called strike three on a splitter. One on, one out. Tony Pena at the plate. He is hitless today. This could be a double play. Not in time back to first. So fielder's choice. Jeff Salazar has struck out all three times at the plate today. Looking, looking, swinging. If you're concerned about such things. 2 and 0 oh, the count in this at bat. Finally gets one in play. Phil will pick it up and throw to first and in the top of the inning. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Squirrels leading 4 or nothing. Tom will lead things off. Tom does have a couple hits today. Fouls this first pitch away. Fouls another one away, 0-2. And, and puts this into left field for a base hit. Burns again, unable to cut it off before it can roll to the wall. And Tom will cruise in for a double. All right, Zach at the plate. Vizcaino starting to get tired. Looks at strike one. This one goes well up and out. This one hit foul. One and two the count. Swing and a miss. Strike three. One down. Runner still on second. Joey at the plate. 
he's going to get intentionally walked even though it is not the pitcher spot up next and Phil has already gotten a hit today not sure I totally understand that decision so Phil with two runners on and one out first pitch goes inside this one down and in Two, too high, three and zero, oh. and that's a walk. Not intentional. That does get to the pitcher's spot, but Vizcaino is going to come out of the game. Kurt Sarlus will come into the game, and we. Oh. Let's go with Miyake. All right, bases loaded, one out. First pitch is called a strike. Fouls this one away, 0 and 2. Will this get down for a hit? It looks like it will. One run already in. Two runs in. A two RBI single makes it six to nothing, Squirrels. Marvin at the plate. Still only one out. Runners on first and second. First pitch was called a strike. This is a ground ball. Will not get the double play, though. Puts runners on the corners with two outs. Chief at the plate. Swings and misses at the first pitch. Chief three for four on the day. His average starting to get up there near 400. Has a one and two count in this at bat. Grounds to third. Onion over to first, and that will end the top of the ninth. Or top, sorry, bottom of the eighth, and bring us into the top of the ninth. Orcas are going to need six runs to stay alive, though they are starting with the heart of their order. We'll let Miyake try to play third. Why not at this point? Yeah, Miyake actually, if you remember a few games ago, I forget how long ago it was, Miyake actually made several plays both at second and shortstop when he came in on a switch like that that didn't really work like I, I thought it might. But looked very good playing out of position. Okay, oh, we got some miscommunication here. You're going to score that a hit, but that should have been an out from Phil. So leadoff runner aboard. Burns hits one that Phil will field, and they will only get the out at second. One down. Runner on first. Travis Buck at the plate. This one is down and in. And outside. 2-0 the count. There's a called strike. Another called strike. 2-2. Two and two. Called strike 3. Onion, the last chance for the Orcas. He does have two hits today, so he might be one of the better options they've got. Almost hits him. 1-1 one and one the count. Ground ball. Zap will field it himself. Throw it over, and that is the ball game. Your final score today: Portland Orcas zero, Indianapolis Squirrels six. So a little different than yesterday's game. Take a look at some highlights here. See who they give player of the game to. It probably should go to Terry, but they could give it to Chief, who actually probably had a better day overall. Going about three for five with the first RBI of the game. But, you know, Terry did hit a three run homer and did it at home. So we'll see which direction the game goes. And they go with Chief. Which, if we're being honest about it, that probably is the better choice. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you'd like to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, feel very free. Otherwise, we've got one more with Portland tomorrow. We will see you then.